This experiment involves live 230 volts AC wiring as well as electrified water. Plus you don't know my wiring, which makes it double the throttle. So this under no circumstances should be tried at home. So in this 3 a.m. experiment I'm gonna try to see whether or not normal tap water can carry sufficiently current from this wire to this wire enough current to make this light bulb sign. So I've got my ballasted multi-socket here which has two outputs, don't mind this thing. Uh, those look like two normal outputs but they aren't. Those two are connected in series with this light bulb which acts as a ballast and limits the current to 100 watt or uh, a little less than uh, 1 amp on uh, 230 volts AC. So, this wire is live and I'm gonna try to throw it in the wire try to see whether or not this light bulb will shine. The wires are in the wire. The wire is electrified probably. Hold it on. Yep. It is a light bulb, but light bulb doesn't want to light up. What I'm gonna do now is remove this light bulb and uh, screw on this socket, a uh, CVL rated to 15 watt. See if anything different will happen. And uh, apparently the wire can't carry sufficient current from here to here to make this CVL and this or light bulb sign. So yeah, this is still electrified, very electrified with 3, uh, 2, 30 volts AC, but nothing is happening here. So yeah, that's enough for me. Also what I wanted to do in the first place is get the wire electrified and uh, also get this CCVL put it in the wire. The wire is electrified but this, this ain't signing up so this also doesn't work. Thanks for watching and remember that this wire is electrified and you should not play with such things and if you want to replicate what you've, saw, what you've seen here try with these batteries and small LEDs. These are safe to play, these are not. Thanks for watching.